Hey everyone, a short while ago a maths problem was posted on Twitter that's proved very controversial. Uh, even some teachers have disagreed about what the answer should be. And in this video we'll look at this problem and give our answer, which is the correct one, although not everyone may agree with it. So here's the problem. It's 8 divided by 2 times, in parentheses, 2 plus 2, which we can replace by 4. Now we can remove the parentheses, and although there was no sign in front, we know it's a multiplication, so we can put a time sign in. Great. Everyone agrees so far. Now is where the confusion starts. We have a division and a product, one after the other. What do we do? Let's look at these operations and their properties a bit more closely. First, for an operation, or more precisely a binary operation, we need a non-empty set, in other words, elements on which we can operate. Let's call the set we're talking about A. Then an operation in A is a map which sends elements of the Cartesian product of A and A to A. Each pair of elements, AB, when operated upon, results in a new element. For example, for the sum of integers, the pair 2, 3 corresponds to the whole number 2 plus 3, which is 5. Now, an operation is binary, which means we operate on only two elements at a time. So in principle, 2 plus 3 plus 4 makes no sense because we have two options. Find the sum of 2 and 3 and then add 4, or add 2 to the sum of 3 and 4. Who's to say which of these options you should choose? No one. You can take your pick. There's no right or wrong. And we're not going to be talking about changing the order here, which involves the commutative property. The property we're interested in here is the associative property, which is satisfied by both the sum and the multiplication of integers. For example, if a, b and c are integers, then according to the associative property, we'll get the same if we do a plus b first and then add on c, as if we add a to the sum of b plus c. When an operation satisfies the associative property, we can omit the parentheses in our case, we can simply write 2 plus 3 plus 4 and do it in the order we choose. The result will be the same in both cases. But so far we've been talking about the same operation. What if different operations are involved? Well, as you know, to avoid parentheses and writing too much, mathematicians have adopted a common criterion, a prioritization of operations. This says that in the case of having two operations together without parentheses, we do products and divisions first, then we do additions and subtractions. We won't talk about roots and powers because they don't come into our problem. For instance, if we have 2 plus 3 times 5, although going from left to right, it might seem we should do the sum first, the priority rule of operations tells us first to do the product, 3 times 5, which is 15, and then add on the 2 to give the result 17. Why have this rule? It's a useful shorthand and saves on the use of parentheses. It also applies in algebra when we work with polynomials. So instead of 2 plus parentheses 3x, we can simply write 2 plus 3x. Now let's go back to our original problem. We have one division and one multiplication, operations that are at the same level of priority. The problem is we get different results depending on the order in which we do things, either 16 or 1. Who's to say which is the right order? Some people might argue that in a case where two operations have the same priority, you should work from left to right. But that certainly isn't a mathematical rule. If it were, there'd be no confusion or controversy surrounding this problem. The simple fact is the problem is ambiguous. It's poorly stated and can't be answered uniquely in the form it's presented. 
to remove the ambiguity, parentheses are needed. And no doubt whoever wrote the problem knew this and also realized that the controversy would help it go viral. So congratulations to them, they succeeded. Well, you can write your opinion in the comments and at the same time, maybe subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.